Yes, it's working! Okay. <laughs> hey everyone, my name is Kiosk. Um, and, uh, I guess there's really no, really no point in pretending that this isn't my first ever gaming video and the first video on this channel, too. Um, so yeah, before you get all, like, Haiti and shit, I'm a noob. Okay, I'm a noob at this. Um, so yeah. And also, pretty soon, I'm gonna be having another person playing these games with me, but she's sick. And I was like, yeah, I'm sick too. Sick of putting this shit off. And so, I'm here by myself. Love that. Uh... So yeah, there's that. But anyway, we're going to be playing this game, Dragon Age Origins, and I actually don't like this game. Why are you playing it? Because it's got a lot of information in it that is super relevant to games that I do like. Um, that and for some reason, despite not liking it, I decided to go out and buy the Ultimate Edition after having already, like, gotten it for free yeah I got it for free from origin and then I was like huh I don't have any DLC for this I'm gonna buy the ultimate edition from Steam and I have yet to play any of the DLC so there's that um, also I need a save game for when I start playing Dragon Age 2 which I'm excited for not so excited for this but I'll try to make it kinda painless um, <clears throat> quick, painless I'm not going to be doing a lot of the side quests because those are what kill me is the side quests um and anyway I have no cheat codes to get experience anyway so leveling is not going to be an issue yeah so warning I cheat a lot while playing games um I'm going to try to keep to a minimum at this point uh Yeah, I'm going to try to keep it to a minimum. I've also got lots and lots and lots of mods. Like, I've just modded this game to death. Literally to death, actually. <laughs> like, for a while there it would not run because it was so weighed down by mods. I've removed a couple of them to make it function well. Um, so, yeah, I guess that's enough just kind of standing around talking. So, let's play. By the way, this is my third time trying to start recording this. The first time, I made it like 15 seconds in, and then my chair broke. And I actually listened to the recording, and it was kind of funny. You could just hear this, like, like kind of chunk noise. And then me going, God. Like, yeah, and then me, like, cussing. And so is the Golden City blackened with each step you take in my hall. Marvel at perfection, for it is fleeting. You have brought sin to heaven and doom upon all the world. Canticle of Thrandenese, 813. The Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead they destroyed Oh no. Not heaven. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the darkspawn. They became a blight upon the lands unstoppable and relentless the dwarven kingdoms were the first to fall and from the deep roads the dark spawn drove at us again and again until finally we neared annihilation
until the Grey Wardens came. Hey, that's us. Men and well, women not yet, from but... every race. Warriors and mages, barbarians and kings. The Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness. And ah. the world. I do love the music from it, though. Love the music and the characters. The gameplay itself is just tedious. Uh, uh, uh. It has been four centuries nope. since uh. the victory. Uh. We have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. It may even be too late, for I have seen with my <laughs> own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. Maker, help us all. <laughs> yeah, if you're wondering what that was, I uh, licked my keyboard. No, because, like, actually, almost a year ago now, like, I was like, hey, my keyboard is nasty and dusty. You know what sounds like a good idea? I'm going to spray it with dust remover. And then I sprayed it with dust remover. And that turned out to be a mistake because, you know, like, I was, like, typing on my keyboard. And then I was, like, touching my face and my mouth. And it was horrible. Like, I don't think anything tastes worse than dust remover. And, <laughs> yeah, and so just now... I was thinking, hey, does my keyboard still taste like dust remover? And I just, suddenly it was a very burning question. And the answer is yes, it does. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy, I tried recording this beforehand. I actually have already tried recording this. I got 40 minutes in before I realized it wasn't recording. Ugh. <laughs> So, uh, all right. The background you select will determine which of six distinct opening stories you will play through. It also affects how characters respond to you throughout the game. Yeah, first time I went through and read everything. I'm not doing that this time. But yeah, win, win, man, man, blah, blah, equal, blah. And that's a lie, actually. They're like, you, you can't, whatever. You're a woman. So yeah, I'm gonna be Dalish Elf because. Um, yeah, I, I mean, it honestly feels like most relevant in the long term to me. Like, long run throughout the whole series. It just, the things that, the Dalish are very relevant. Um, I also, like, Proud of your role as one of the few true elves, you have always assumed you would spend your life with your tribe, until a chance encounter with a relic of your people's past threatens to tear you away from everything you've ever known. What? Where is it? Oh yeah. See, you know it says old gods, and that's also how they refer to the archdemons? That supports the theory of mine. But yeah. Greetings. I'm not gonna, like, go on and on about it. Alrighty, let's make her... Let's try to make this fast. I mean, I already made her once, so it shouldn't be hard to do a second time. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. That was so ladylike of me.
No. Um, yeah, I don't want to mess around with this too much, because in the long run, it doesn't matter that much. I mean, you kind of have to look at her for the entire game, but yeah, she looks good. Um, oh yeah, here. Whoa. Oh, hey, that's exactly what I was going for. Yeah. You know what this reminds me of? A Furby. Like, yeah, it looks like a Furby. <laughs> yeah, it's creepy. Give her some better eyebrows. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's the crap. Mm, already did all that. Uh, don't, again, don't wanna waste too much time on this. <laughs> Very stoic and serious. With an explosion in the background. Um uh, Charm. How do you do? Oops. <laughs> Where's my head? Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be her. Alright. Um Whatever, whatever. Um, don't want to waste any points on this, because I'm just going to be dumping them all in cunning anyway. And you really don't need these if you've got a high cunning. Same with the deft hands. And I'm going to be playing dual weapon. Even though technically you're supposed to be an archer if you're the Dale Shelf. I don't want to. I find archery kind of annoying in this game. And magic. I hate magic. Love the mages, hate magic. Um. Yeah, I'll stay on easy. Alrighty. You were born amidst the Dalish elves, noble wanderers who refused to join the society of humans that subjugated their homeland so long ago. Damn, now I'm forgetting which, what I said this time versus what I said last attempt. In their half-forgotten law in a human world that fears and despises them. Oh boy. You spend your time hunting with your clanmate Tamlin in the forests. And as is sometimes the case, your quarry is not always the local wildlife. Oh no. Shemlins. It's a Dalish! And you three are somewhere you shouldn't be. <laughs> it's a Dalish. Let us pass, Elf. You have no right to stop us. No? We will see about that, won't we? They know Dalish is an adjective, We're right? Just in time. I found these humans lurking in the bushes. Bandits, no doubt. We aren't bandits, yeah, I you're, swear. you're dumb. Please don't hurt us. You Shemlin are pathetic. It's hard to believe you ever You're a pathetic. We've never done nothing to you, Dalish. We didn't even know this. Do I like the whole shoeless look? This forest isn't ours, fool. You've stumbled too close to our camp. You shems are like vermin. We can't trust you not to make mischief. What do you say, Lethaline? What should we do with them? So yeah, fun fact. Uh, my first playthrough of this game, I was playing the Dalish Elf, and it wasn't just my first playthrough of this game. It was my first playthrough of any RPG ever. Uh, and so 
they smacked me with this choice right off the bat, and I was like, ah, I don't know what to do. So I went and took a shower instead, and I, like, waited around an hour. Yep, and they were still here waiting for a response. Tamlin's such a patient friend. He's great. Uh... Let's find out what they're doing here. Does it matter? Hunting or banditry, we'll need to move camp if we let them live. L look, we didn't come here to be trouble. We just found a cave. Yes, a cave with ruins like I've never seen. We thought ruins. there might be uh... treasure. So you're more akin to thieves than actual bandits. Well, um, if you've been there, you should have treasure to prove it. If, wink, wink, if you know what I'm saying. But I, uh, I have proof. Here. Give us the treasure. Just inside the entrance. <laughs> the stone has carvings. Is this elvish? Written elvish? Written elvish? There's more in the ruins. We didn't get very far in, though. How do you know that's elvish, Tamlin? I've seen something similar on the Keeper's scrolls. And this is all you found? Why didn't you look for more? There was a demon. A demon? Huge with black eyes. Like the maker we were able to outrun it. Outrun it? A demon. Where is this cave? Just off the west, I think. There's a cave in the rock face and a huge hole just inside. Well, do you trust them? Shall we let them go? Kill one. The others will make sure no one else comes. No. No, wait. You, you can't do this. I can and I will. Oh, God. This is what having a little brother does to you. Now we see if there's any truth to this story. You start quoting Bobby's Thomas the fucking tank engine. More like Thomas the tank engine. Hey! Uh... Well, Tamlin, I don't know about you, but I usually try to avoid demons. I think you should too. It's I hear it's really good for your health, avoiding demons. Skittish shem say it's a demon, and you believe them? They probably woke up a bear. Oh, if it's Let's a bear, then I want to go. Actually exist. Then we'll worry about what to do. Alrighty. Ooh, goodie. Yeah, hey, quests. Quests that I can't even do yet for like a long time. Oh boy. Did I mention. Nah, did I say earlier that I cheat a lot? I, again, I'm gonna try to lay off it for this playthrough. But. This cheat is just really nice because it gives you a little boost right at the beginning. It's nice. It's nice to have. You're one of the... Okay, we're not. Uh, yep, got two. Okay. Excuse me. Going. Yes. Okay. Um again, don't want to go for this. Stealing, maybe. Maybe not yet, though. I think trap making makes sense for her to have as a hunter. Um, didn't mean to click on that one twice. But while we're here, since I did. Huh. Alright, um. And 
There we go. Yay. So we are ready to go. Whoa, okay. We're reefy to go. But actually, um, before anything else, I want to check and make sure this actually recorded because, like I mentioned, I think I mentioned, the, I tried to record this before, and it didn't. So I just want to make sure that actually happened so I don't have to go through this all over again a third time. Actually, technically the fourth one, if you count the time that I broke my chair and started cussing into the mic because my chair was broken. And I was like, ah, shit, abort, abort mission. It was fun. It was a good time. So I guess I'm going to call that an episode. So once I come back, we're going to head over to that cave with Tamlin, that Tamlin so wants to see. I will see you then. Stick around.